In preparation for the Eckstein step of the Infinium workflow, degassing the T-flow is essential. The first step in the process is to set the water circulator attached to the T-flow box to 44 degrees Celsius. If using a T-can setup for the Infinium workflow, the temperature will be set automatically by the software at initialization. If using a standalone T-flow without a T-can, the temperature needs to be set manually. Once the temperature of the water circulator reaches approximately 30 degrees Celsius, continue with degassing the T-flow. First, separate the heat exchanger, which is the black component, from the reagent pan, which is the white base. Lift the heat exchanger upright and away from you with the tubing at the bottom. Turn the device 90 degrees counterclockwise and then back horizontally. When the device is upside down, slightly elevate the side of the T-flow that is attached to the tubing to help move trapped air bubbles out of the outlet tubing port. Repeat the turning steps for a total of four rotations, or until air bubbles can no longer be heard in the device. The device will remain connected by the tubing throughout the process. Air bubbles can lead to uneven heating of the metal and may lead to suboptimal data quality. Using Kim wipes dampened with lab grade water, clean all surfaces between the heat exchanger and the reagent pan to remove any reagent buildup. Discard Kim wipes as formamide waste. Place the heat exchanger back on the reagent pan and ensure it is flush using the two guide pins on the reagent pan and that the water lines are not bent or kinked. Check temperature with a probe at different areas of the device to ensure uniformity at 44 degrees Celsius. The T-flow is now degassed and ready for use.